Hi guys, Paul here, and what we have here is the Turnigi action cam sent out by Hobby King. Uh, what they've uh, sent is the main camera, the action cam case, and also uh, an FPV cable. Now it's worth noting that this one is the Wi-Fi version, so what this will mean is it will allow you to connect it to your iOS or your Android uh, device, and whereby you'll be able to actually make adjustments to settings, etc., on the camera, much in the same way you would with a GoPro. So first things first, uh, this is the cable that they sent with the camera. And essentially what we have here is a micro USB cable that will plug into the actual uh, Turnigi Action Cam. And you've got four leads that come off it. You've got your positive and your negative, and you've also got a video cable and also an audio cable. We also have the supplied case. Uh, this is a hard case just to give you some added protection if you're transporting your uh, action cam. And the finish of this case is actually quite good. I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, looks as though it's going to protect the camera quite well. It looks like a handy little case. And finally, we have the star of the show. And this is the Turnigi Action Cam. Uh, on the back of the box, we have the specs which include it having a 12 megapixel CMOS sensor. Uh, as stated before, it does have Wi-Fi built in, so you will be able to connect up with the camera via your iOS or Android device, whether it be a phone or a tablet. It has a 1.5 inch LCD display on the back. Now, as far as video recording formats, it supports a number of formats, but the main two being your 1080p at 30fps and your 720p at 60 fps so this is kind of similar to the uh, mobius's frame rates per resolution now the compression format it's using is the h264 uh, which is quite common and the lens is a 170 degree wide angle lens and it's supposed to have 80 minute battery life and the suggested uses are everything from cars uh, motorbikes or bikes uh, water sports obviously uh, etc now, what's interesting about this camera is the number of accessories that actually come with it. I wasn't quite expecting this many accessories. Looks as though they've actually got just about everything covered. So this is going to be one of the selling points as far as uh, the additional accessories that actually come with this camera and the ways in which you can connect it up to various devices and uh, attach it to poles, etc. Anyway, we'll run through what you actually receive with the Turnigi Action Cam. Now the first thing is the cleaning cloth. So you have a cleaning cloth to actually uh, clean the lens on the camera. Uh, seems like a nice soft cleaning cloth. We also have one of these GoPro adapters. Now this is uh, similar to the standard one that actually comes with the GoPro. We also have a right angle adapter. Uh, you've also got another right angle adapter, but this one is a shorter version. So depending on what height you want to achieve on your uh, camera, and we also have a bicycle type bracket or a bracket that will allow you to attach the camera to a pole of some sort, whether it be a bike frame or something along those lines. And we also have a camera strap. I'm not sure exactly where this will go or what you'll connect it to. And we also have this uh, interesting little bracket. Basically, the camera will plug straight in and you have a quarter inch adapter on either side. So you could probably mount it on a tripod or something along those lines. You have one of these clips that will allow you to actually attach it to clothing or clip it, clip the camera onto something, which is going to be quite handy. And that detaches and gives you access to your LCD. So quite a nifty little bracket there. We also have these two guys, and these are basically uh, typical brackets that can actually mount on either a quarter inch adapter or the 3M tape. And we have the USB cable. And this is a micro USB cable, which will allow you to connect the camera to your PC and obviously to charge it, etc. We also have uh, these two brackets and these are similar to the GoPro tripod mounts. So another way in which you can actually mount this camera. And we have another adapter, once again, very similar to one of the GoPro adapters. So it gives you some more options as far as mounting goes with this camera. And what we have is the instruction manual, and this is a color instruction manual, all in English. So that's going to be quite handy. Haven't had a chance to read through this, but I will have a read through it when I get some time. 
And finally, we have the star of the show, which is the Turnigi Wi-Fi Action Cam. And as you can see, the housing is very similar to what you would have on a GoPro. Let's get this guy out of here. Let's uh, peel away the lens protection and also the protection on the back of the LCD. And this is what the Turnigi Action Cam looks like. Battery compartment on the bottom. And this is the battery that comes with the Action Cam. Now underneath it we have the battery compartment. We have on the side the uh, USB connectors. Uh, also your micro SD slot. We have the power and LED on top. And on the side we have a couple of uh, buttons to enable Wi-Fi and to scroll, etc. We'll power this guy on. So what we'll do is run through some of the menu options. Click the menu button and we are in the settings. Okay, so the first thing we have is our resolution and you can obviously cycle through and pick whichever resolution you want. Most of us are going to go with 1080p or 720p depending on whether you want the 30 or the 60 frame rate. Uh, we have the next option is TV out. And that is switched off. We'll leave that as is. We've got the OSD mode. We can leave that on. That should be fine. OS, uh, we've got the video lapse. That's off. That's okay. Capture mode, single frame, or you can set three second timer, etc. Cycle record, three minutes, five minutes, and 10 minutes. I'll switch that off for now. And we've got HDR mode that is switched off. We can probably switch that on. Motion detect, won't worry about that. That's audio is on, that's fine. Uh, Timestamp, no, we don't want that. Uh, image size, that's fine. We'll go to the highest resolution. Quality, we want it on fine. We want the best quality we can get out of this camera. Sharpness, normal, strong, they live normal for now. White balance, auto should be fine. Color, we want a color. Um, ISO, we can leave that auto. Exposure, you can obviously up or down the exposure. Anti-shake, uh, we can leave that off. We also have language, we won't worry about that. Date and time, I should probably quickly go through and change the time and date on the camera. That should be good. Auto power off. And three minutes, that should be good. Uh, beep on, yes, we want sound. TV mode, PAL is okay. Screensaver, uh, every one minute. I'm not sure whether we need that. Frequency, um, obviously that depends what zone you're in. We're in Australia, should be really set to 50. Rotation. Uh, we switch that off, that's fine, we don't want to rotate it. Car mode, that's off, that's fine. And these are your Wi-Fi settings and password. We won't worry about those too much, I don't think. Um, yeah, that looks okay. Wi-Fi password, yeah, you can leave those as is for now. That should be fine. You can delete, format, uh, default settings and version so this is the version that I am running at the moment. So this is the rig that I'll be using. And as you can see, I'm going to be comparing it to a GoPro Hero 4. Uh, some of you guys were expecting me to compare it to the Yi, but I didn't want to do that because that's what I did with the Yi. I sort of benchmarked it against the GoPro Hero 4. And that way you can look at what you're actually spending on the camera and work out whether it's worth it or not. Um, anyway, so what we'll do now is cut to some footage. So as with my previous videos, I'm not going to tell you which is which. I want you to actually have a look at the footage and decide for yourself which one it is that you actually prefer uh, more. Uh, the key things I want you to look at is how it manages uh, different light handling situations, etc. Um, and then make your decision based on that which one it is that you prefer. And as you can see, the sharpness is actually quite good. It's going to be interesting to see what these videos are going to be like once they're on YouTube and it's being compressed by YouTube and see exactly what the quality actually is like. So what we'll do now is as far as the reveal goes, on the left we have the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and on the right we have the 
Turnigi Wi-Fi Action Cam from Hobby King. Now, surprisingly, I didn't actually expect this camera to do very well at all. It's actually doing a lot better than I thought it would. Now, in this test, obviously, I think the GoPro uh, Hero 4 Plus is doing a better job uh, than the Turnigi Action Cam. But having said that, uh, you need to factor in a number of things. Obviously, the cost factor. This camera is at a significantly lower price than the GoPro Hero 4. The other consideration you may want to make is how does this camera actually compare to the year camera? I think the year camera is actually, um, well, I think it's a little bit better as far as the way it handles uh, the varying light situations. But having said that, uh, this camera does come with a lot more accessories. So depending on how you intend on using it, uh, this camera could definitely represent better value for money if you're after accessories, uh, the waterproof uh, housing, uh, plus all the clips and attachments. So anyway, look, I'll leave the video at that and I'll let you watch the rest of the video and you can sample some more footage from it. I hope you found this video useful. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.